Okay, so I got the framing done for the deer blind. This is looking on to the front. This will be up about eight feet up in the air. So here in the back will be the door. It's a two and a half feet wide. And then right here, that'll be for gun. And these will be for bow here on either side. Those are at 45 degree angles to look out to straight ahead and to the right. Same on the other side. Here, this is your side gun on either side. And then yet again, here is another bow on either side. So you can get all but behind me because mine's going to be on the property line. So I won't really need to hunt behind me, but I made it. So there is a back deck here, which is two feet, just in case you did want to look out the back. So I uh, just set a chair and just gave my best estimate for the height that I'd want to rest my gun inside these areas right here. And then I just took my bow and just aimed through and figured out a height that I would like the best. And it seemed like it worked the best with these. These are 14 inches wide in, inside here. And then I just got some uh, plexiglass that I'm going to cut here for the gun, gun slots, and they'll be on hinges so they can swing up. And then so I'll show that in a little bit. So on the roof of the deer blind, I just used leftover tin and I just screwed into each joist with two inch wood screws. But prior to that, I just um, used an eighth inch drill bit just through the tin. So the wood screw would go through and then prior to putting the wood screw in, I um, caulked each hole just to keep it sealed. Here I finally have my deer blind finished. So I brought it out here with the trailer and with the farm hand, we picked it up and then we got these um, four by four sleeves that go underneath the two by six. I ordered them online at Cabela's, we can buy them anywhere really, they're called elevators but um mounted those on and then just put the four by fours down and it could stand on its own at first but there's a little bit of play in the sleeves for the four by fours to go into so it's still it still wiggled back and forth but wouldn't fall down so then I did a kind of like a crisscross here with two by fours um, so it's a four by eight um, deer blind so to do crisscross on the long ways, it's 10 feet and then six feet for the narrow side. And then I just kind of integrated a ladder here on the back side. And then I will climb up and show you what I did inside. So there's like a foot and a half of space up here. I just sprayed it with bed liner. It goes on like a back of pickups. And then anyway, so I put in carpet and carpet pad to keep it. Um, so it would kind of be more quiet when you walk around and then if you're kneeling shooting you can do so And then here the tall windows those are for bow But um, that'd be a lot of open space for deer to see so I got these removable windows That I made and I had to figure out how to keep them so they can lock into place real easily So I made a slot that they go down into and the same thing up above And then so they just up into place and then you just drop them down and there you have it and then for all the gun windows rifle windows I use plexiglass and then strings so here this one's held up right now if you can see I got a string goes up and through and through here and then the loop to this screw so then you release this and the glass comes down, but then it's just hanging free and the wind might blow it around. So then I took the other end of this string and you just loop it down to a screw down here and then it holds it shut. So um, the only one thing is it might have been better if it was slightly wider. It's four feet wide, but for, for bow, these 45 degree ones are okay, but these side ones are a little bit tight. But um, other than that, just kind of whatever you think is best, really. But I am excited to see what I can find out here. It's a really good spot for deer.